Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new around here. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to take you through a little DIY project. But first I gotta get a few things done. This looks so delicious, so delicious. <laughs> and instantly, my mood has shifted. So let's get into it. So I've been really wanting to put something on this part of the wall when you walk in through our back door in this general area next to the plant. And I went thrift shopping the other day and I found this mirror. It's super cute. Let me show it to you. How cute is it? It's just a little hexagon. Hexagon? Octagon? Hexagon. So I'm thinking of painting the frame black because I want it to match the frames that we have over here. If you see, we have these black frames. So I thought it would like bring the black into this room, the black frame. And then like the hardware on the shelves are all black. So, and then we're changing over these to be black as well. So I feel like having a black framed mirror here will kind of like really be great. Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you feeling what I'm feeling? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm still figuring out how I want to attach it, but that's the vibe. I just need to paint this stuff black. And apparently Doug said that he has some black paint that I can use that he was going to leave out in the garage for me. So that's where we're going now. Creepy. This? How am I supposed to use this? I don't even know. This is stain. If you're new around here, my boyfriend is a painter. He's a professional painter and plaster, so we have lots of paint in the garage, but of course, no black paint. Like he told me, oh yeah, I have some black paint in the garage. That's not paint, that's stain. I know the difference, just because I'm not a professional like you. I know the difference. This is clearly not a paint. Let me open this and see what the situation is. Traditional spirit-based interior stain. I mean, it's black. Sealant. You know what? This is gonna... He really pisses me off sometimes because like, I wanna do these projects and then he... He doesn't really care about them, so he just like, will just half-ass them and be like, oh, it will do it. But like, no, I'm doing this and I want it to look nice, so I'm not gonna half-ass this shit. I'm not happy about this, guys. We all know who to blame here if this goes badly. That's you, Doug. We're talking to you. I was so excited about this, and now, now I just feel duped. So I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. And if it fails, then I don't know. Can you paint over a stain? I don't know, we're gonna find out. little trick I learned on YouTube. Instead of putting tape around the entire frame to save the mirror from getting paint on it, you actually just slide some paper underneath to keep it from getting dirty and it works. It goes underneath. Actually, I'm going to use something a little thicker. This is the paper that I use to print my watercolor artwork on. So it's um, a thicker GSM, like the thickness of the paper. It's like weighted. Um, so I'm gonna use that because in the example I saw they used like construction paper or something thicker. So yeah, I wouldn't advise using just printing paper. I feel like it's too thin and that the paint will seep right through. <gasps> it's so black. <gasps> oh my goodness. Putting a three minute timer on. So she's painted. I think I want to put a second coat of stain on, but it says something like you have to wait like an hour minimum to like 
eight hours or something so I'm just gonna let her dry also you might want to use gloves when look at this look at this like I am a mess so I highly recommend using gloves if you're gonna be playing around with stain because <laughs> I don't know it looks like my nail is about to fall off that's disgusting I don't know when when or if this is gonna come off but uh I mean, they call it stain for a reason. So, good luck to me. 2,000 years later. All right, the big reveal. It is days, weeks later, and I just realized that I wanted to put more coats on the mirror, so I did, and I let it dry, and the next day I put two more coats on and let it dry in the sun, but I didn't record it and I didn't update you guys. So, I also didn't get any footage on the camera of how I attached it, so I ended up using like Velcro strips, and I did a poll on Instagram and everyone was like, don't use Velcro, it's gonna fall off, don't risk it. But I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway because when do I ever follow the rules? I was destined to go my own path. So you know I use those Velcro strips, but I only had a couple of those around the house. So I also used some double-sided tape that I had around the house. And it's been like a month and this thing has not moved. It looks great. And I wanted to show you guys. So, what do you think? I think she looks cute. Now, now take a look around. And we changed this. So that's black now. We still have to change the other door, but this one's black now. And this is my vision brought to life. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. What do you think, Nettie? He doesn't care. That is my update for my upcycled mirror. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it looks good? Can you tell that it's a stain? I'll try and get some closer shots, so maybe... But, like, you're not really looking at it close up, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is not paint, this is a stain. So, I think that it looks great for what it is. The wall that it's on actually needs to be painted. It has so many scuffs, and now that that's on there, it, like, directs your eyes to that wall. We're talking about possibly moving in the next six to 12 months. So I'm like slowing down on some of the bigger house projects I was planning on doing. I've also been in the middle of a three day fast. I'm on day three. And so I have a whole vlog coming up that's going to document that. Stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you let me know by hitting the like button. If you have enjoyed hanging out with me today, I would love it if you considered hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you around my corner here on YouTube. And with that, I will see you in the next video.